Hi everybody, this is David Olson from davidolsonrealestate.com. Thanks so much for watching. Today I want to make a short video for anybody who's getting a loan and thinking of buying property. And we want to specifically address some of the biggest concerns and the biggest mistakes that a buyer makes in the loan process. It's a pretty critical step. So today I brought in an expert, Brian Parkinson. <laughs> Brian, why don't you tell us quickly a little bit of who you are mm -hmm. and then answer the question, what are some of the biggest mistakes that a buyer can make when they get a loan? Great. David, thanks for having me here. Um, I've been in the business about 18 years and work with a lot of clients, a lot of purchase transactions. I think the one thing you have to think about if you're under contract to buy a house and you've been fully approved is you really can't, don't want to make any changes in your credit history, in your employment from the time your loan is approved to the time you closed. Here's a great example. I was in a closing about a year ago, first time home by our young kid. And we're at the closing table, the title officer is having them re-sign their uh, app loan application and basically signing and confirming that nothing has changed in their credit history since the loan approval started. He got a real funny look on his face, and I was sitting at the end of the table, wasn't really paying much attention, and he gets a really funny look on his face. He didn't say anything to me. He signs the document. We walk out of the closing, and he comes up to me and he says, Brian, um, last Friday, I co-signed on a loan with my fiance. Well, that car payment was $315. If we were to f have that new information to us within the loan process, that file has to go back into underwriting, and there's a chance that that client wouldn't qualify the, for the house that they're under contract for. Um, I got a call in one transaction from a borrower. He was halfway through his loan process, and he switched jobs. He didn't think it was that big of a deal. So anytime you're contemplating changes such as that, you've got to contact your loan officer because it could potentially blow your transaction up. Okay, so if I'm hearing you right, you're saying, don't switch jobs while you're waiting to close on your home. Mm -hmm. um, don't um, go out and buy anything outrageously expensive. Don't buy any. Don't open any new credit accounts. If you open up a new credit account, even if it has a zero balance on it, we're going to have to get documentation from that creditor on what the terms of that of that new account okay. are. So that could affect a lot of a lot of things. Another thing you have to be careful of: our credit report is good for 90 days. If, our, if, if from the time I pull your credit to the time you close on your house is 120 days, we're going to have to re-pull your credit after 90 days. If there are any changes, if you've missed payments, it could drop your credit score 100 points. Oh, wow. I had a borrower, we got her credit up to where she qualified for a house, and she missed a car payment because she was out of town. Her, payment, her credit score dropped 100 points. She no longer qualified for a house. So, don't change anything. Don't change anything. Make all your payments on time. Be honest about the information mm -hmm. when you're getting your loan. Consult with your loan officer. If you're thinking about changing jobs, if you're thinking about opening up a new Macy's credit card, call Brian first. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we don't change anything that will affect you getting into your house. So how can people get a hold of you, Brian? David, they can reach me at brianparkinson.com. That's my website. You can call me on my cell at 612-282-5863. All right, well, thanks, Brian. And, you know, we could have gotten a lot longer in this video and talked about a lot more things, but we're not. We're just talking about some of the basic things. If you have specific questions for your situation, like we said, give Brian a call today. Okay? Thanks so much, and have a great day. Thanks, Dave.